السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہیار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ویٹو آف مائی ٹیک شنے ایم ویری سیڈ آئی واٹ اے شارٹ اور منی ویڈیو آئی دیٹ کالڈ اور اے شارٹ آن یو ٹیوب بیٹ از کالڈ آن ٹی آر ٹی آن الجزیراس نیوز چینلز الجزیراس شارٹ اٹ واز اے شارٹ اراؤنڈ اور منی ویڈیو اراؤنڈ فورٹی ٹو ففٹی سیکنڈس پر ہیپس اور تھرٹی فائیو پلس سیکنڈس آئی ڈیڈن کاؤنٹ دی پراپر لینتھ آف دی ویڈیو دیٹ شارٹ اور دیٹ ویڈیو واز اباؤٹ دیٹ ان غزہ ان ندر ان غزہ فرام دی ربلس پیپل آن سیکنڈ آف دسمبر جسٹ یسٹر ڈے آن سیٹرڈے دے گیٹ اے باڈی آؤٹ اور دے فائنڈ اے باڈی آف اے بوائے ہو ایٹ اراؤنڈ فور ٹو فائیو اینڈ وین ہز باڈی واز ریکورڈ ہی واز آبویسلی ڈیڈ آفٹر اٹ آئی ایم ناٹ شیور دیٹ اٹ واز بیکاز آف دی ایئر اسٹرائک دیٹ آئی ڈی ایف ہیز ہیز کیریڈ آؤٹ ان غزہ یسٹرڈے ان ندر ان غزہ or uh, it was the old old body but as it seems that uh, the f- uh, wounds of that uh, little child that little angel was uh, very uh, new or it, it 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 was not too old so it it seems like that that boy was just killed yesterday and uh, because of israeli shelling or the israeli air strikes as they targeted as they conducted 408 air strikes on us f-16s that you have usa is giving them in the name of their defense e uh, defense aid and in their name of their defense requirement so from that f-16 of usa they have targeted 400 target uh, targets in uh, gaza it uh, it it was in northern gaza southern central rafa district so they didn't left any spot uh, unchecked or unwavered they just hit wherever they want so when that body came out and uh, two of his brother who was around age of 8 to 8 to 10 or 10 to 12 they were not too old and when the body get out or it came out and as they put it in a white cloth as it is a war zone so there are going to be barriers like that and he as that little boy is a martyr he is a shaheed and uh, as i know that shaheed do not receive the bath or the bath that is permitted if i die or any other muslim die he has to receive to clean or cleanse it his body but uh, for shaheed shaheed doesn't need to be clean as he is clean as he has given his life in the way of allah almighty and that little boy has given his life in the way of allah almighty so they were putting him in a white cloth and those boy is saying that just give us some time that we want to kiss him we want to cherish him we want to savor this time with him we want to enjoy this time with him and he said that you cannot bury him alone he's so small he needs to be buried with my mother and uh, the man promise that we would not we will not bury him without his mother so they kept kissing his body his torso his head his little legs his little feet his little hands i was somewhere today where i was going where I, uh, where i went to c- congratulate the uh, family as they have a new born and i was sitting there and when i see this video it was really difficult for me to control my emotions or uh, to control what i have seen on uh, that short video or on that youtube short on al jazeera news it was really saddening i do not cry too often but it was really saddening and i i, I feel very really powerless when i see those two boys crying and he was taking his name and he was telling his name and he was saying that 
this is he was making a mark or singly link towards his body of his brother that it is the target of Netanyahu. They are not targeting Hamas. They are not targeting Islamic Jihad. They are not trying to bomb Hamas or trying to uh, finish Hamas or the Al-Qasam Brigade of Hamas. But they were targeting little kids. They were targeting infants. They were targeting children. They were targeting women. So that little boy, the brother of that boy, saying that I am Khalid, he was telling that my grandmother is dead, my father is dead, my mother is dead, my little brother is dead. And he was saying his name that when you are angry, when you are lost someone to somebody, you say, or in the emotion of revenge, we often human say that I am son of this, I am son of that. And this is my name and I am first of my name and I will make sure that you are going to be last of my name. And this is the way he was talking to the camera. This is the way he was challenging the Israelis. This is the way he was saying that I am going to take revenge of my brother, my grandmother, my mother, my father, my uncle. Those who he lost in that rubble, those bodies were under the rubble. And he was saying that, that my name is Khalid. And when you say your name in Arabs and Muslim, anywhere in the world, when a grieving man, a crying man say his name, it means that he is going to take the revenge because he is taking his name, his father's name, his family's name, and he is going to take the revenge. Israel can't finish Hamas. Hamas is not going to die anytime sooner. Hamas is not going to be removed from the face of the earth. Hamas can't be eradicated from the Gaza Strip as Benjamin Netanyahu and that uh, idiot defense minister of Israel, that gallant, who thinks that they can erase Hamas. Hamas, in other, Hamas is an ideology. Hamas is the symbol of the resistance of Palestinians. Hamas is Palestine. Hamas can't be finished. And the Elon Musk, the hypocrite who went to Tel Aviv to suck up for his earlier bravado that he posted or he uh, showed the world that he is against this hate. He himself said that Israel is not doing itself a favor. They are creating more Hamas. Every sane person, every intellectual person, every person with some mind, some intellect knows that what Israel is doing, they are creating more recruits for Hamas, Islamic Jihad, for Hezbollah, for organizations like these. Because you are killing innocent civilians. You are making sure that none of Palestinian civilians survived in Gaza. Israeli plan is that they want to control whole of Gaza. Now they are bombing Khan Yunus. They are bombing Khan Yunus. They have said that Khan Yunus is now a war zone. So the people in Khan Yunus who are already congested, who are already densely populated because a lot of displaced persons from the northern Gaza uh, Gaza. The people are in South Gaza. Now they are asking them to go to the Rafa district. And in the end, they will say that you all need to go to desert of Sinai and live in those tents. They wanted the great exodus, exodus like once they were thrown out from Israel, from Palestine long ago. And they were not thrown out by any man they were thrown out by the god and now they are doing to the people of palestine genocide continues 700 people have died since the last one in last 24 hours the paramedic staffs have been detained by israeli forces gunfight continues in gaza city and according to the al jazeera or any other or trt that Israeli progress is uh, Israel is not advancing. The Al Qassam Brigade or the Hamas fighters are putting valiant fight 
or the brave fight or the um, or the tough toughest fight that they can give and israel is not advancing israel is losing people losing tanks losing uh, army our ar- army vehicles they are losing people in nadran gaza israel nadran gaza or the central gaza is not going to be the cake walk if this ground war or ground escalations continues and the way hamas is actually defending their territory their land i don't think so the ground invasion will work yes the bombing the bombing superiority that they have it can't be matched by hamas until unless uh, any other country or any other organization like hezbollah joins the war from back and they attack or they try to enter th- israel uh, israel but it seems highly unlikely that hezbollah is going to cross the border from lebanon and enter to the uh, s- south of israel to the south of israel which is uh, now for me likely highly unlikely but they are uh, ro- firing their rockets hamas is firing their rockets but uh, the ground invasion is not advancing idf is failing idf is losing people in gaza as per the reports han han yunus said they have earlier said they have, that they have said that it's a war zone now idf is now using air strike as well bombing from naval ships on the coastal line of han yunus as it's near the uh, mediterranean sea so the people in han yunus are now have no where to go they just have rafa district and after rafa district it's egypt it's the desert of sinai there is nothing going to left for the people of gaza people on salahuddin road have been killed today because they were going from north to south according to the instructions of idf but idf is a merciless menace and they are killing people people died on that road there is this junction jabalia camp again hit hit by rafale arab refugee camp again hit by israeli air strike dozens have died or i think dozens or hundreds have died 700 people have died and if you include the last two days figures it around 900 have 900 people have been killed so officially now around 16000 people have been killed and 7000 plus are missing under the rubble people are under the destroyed debris of different buildings there is nothing left in gaza diseases are killing people now there is nothing left in their hospitals the medical infrastructure has totally collapsed in gaza there is not enough air trucks entered in gaza people are dying it is catastrophe it is a mini a uh, catastrophe it, it is a catastrophe plus in making in gaza diseases war starvation not enough few not enough things not enough to eat not enough to drink nothing left in gaza gaza people are dying but in the end of the video i would like to quote as i have read a al jazeera article that american bombs have reached gaza have have reached israel sorry around 14.3 billion aid package president joe biden has given to the to their dear friends or the poor friends of israel to, uh, to his poor friends of israel benjamin netanyahu and the state of israel and idf uh, when he visited the israel last month in october i guess they have given around us has sent around 15000 bombs 50000 artillery shells this amount for 8 weeks campaign you know the crews happened after 8 weeks almost after 8 weeks so they have given them or they have uh, sent the supply so they can fi- fight another 8 weeks as the bombs they have sent they are the bunker busters and now they are saying that we are going after hamas but they are bombing indiscriminately and they are killing each and every one in gaza wherever they want they are bombing they are not sparing schools they are not sparing refugee camps they are not sparing mosques they are not sparing any hospital they are not sparing roads they are not sparing any infrastructure they are not sparing even any body or any moving thing on the road 
they are just bombing they are just bombing and they are using artificial intelligence to target people of gaza and the gaza strip so quickly i will read the bombs that the usa has sent to its friend in idea for uh, israel in support of their genocide campaign of gazans they have sent around 100 blu 109 bombs and one uh, blu 900 bomb which is called a dumb bomb is 900 kg it's around weight 900 kg and it can penetrate the earth very easily and its radius of the bomb if you want to anyone want to research who he can who he or she can google it shows the destruction that blu 109 900 kg one bomb can cost and they have sent around 6500 blu 109 kg 109 bombs and then there is mk 84 bomb mark 84 bomb it was made around second world war for nazis and japanese but now it's going to be uh, bomb on the civilians of gaza one bomb actually weighs 227 kg no sorry one bomb 80 mk 84 weighs 430 kg one bomb it it, it has the same uh, distinctions or the same features like blu 109 but it is smaller in the weight but it can also penetrate deep in earth and its radius is also big so around 5400 mk84 bombs have been sent to the israel around 5000 mk8200 bombs have been sent to israel which one of mk82 bomb mark 82 bomb is around the weight of 227 kg 1000 gbu 39 it's also a bunker buster and with the uh, application or uh, uh, it put together with the jdma it becomes a smart weapon so it can penetrate deep in earth so you can see with these bombs with this aid israel has been more emboldened by usa and its ally they are killing civilians in gaza they are ethnic ethnically cleansing gaza they want people of gaza out from gaza uh, people of gaza out of gaza they want them to live in the desert of sinai in the tents as pre planned israeli intelligence report which was leaked in the mid of october or in the end of october that they actually wanted tent city for the people of gaza in sinai and isra and with this amount of ammunition uh, supplied by america to by americans uh, by supplied by america to israel or idf is the way forward that they want to take over whole of gaza city whole of gaza strip in that only case they can make hamas either surrender or they can completely destroy but they will not going to ever they will not be able to completely destroy hamas in my view they are going to take over north of gaza and they will make it a buffer between gaza and israel uh, and in south they will push more amount of people in south and they will take over north and if god forbids if they take over whole of gaza the 1.8 million or 2.3 million people of gaza either have to go into the desert of sinai or they have to f- die fighting israel i hope that world wakes up the civilized world wakes up the islamic words wake up from the sleep that they are sleeping from last 75 years i hope they wake up long live islam long live state of palestine long live the people of palestine long live the freedom fighters of palestine long live the resistance movement of palestine long live the people of gaza from the river to the sea palestine palestine allah hafiz